Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a review on the all new 2024 Silverado EV. Now this is the work truck trim level. So it's very base, but I still wanted to give our first impressions of it. Uh, you know, the upgraded trim is gonna have different grill, different fascia, you know, set it off a little bit differently than the, the work truck series. But the styling is still gonna be similar. Uh, kind of to me has the old school avalanche. Uh, vibe to it with the angle down in the back towards the bed and uh the upgraded trims are going to actually have a pass through much like the old avalanches did this trim level does not have that feature uh, where you can pass through from the bed to the cab but the other ones will so we're going to hop inside we're going to show you some of the features and we're going to take it for a drive and see what we think so again this is the work truck edition the one thing we should mention we notice there's actually no way to lock this tailgate. Even when you lock it with the key fob, this does not lock. So that is one thing that immediately kind of stands off to me as a missed opportunity, I believe, um, but no less. This one does come with a tonneau cover. This one just rolls forward. Nothing extremely special here in the bed, except for over here. You do have a 30 amp outlet. You've got a 20 amp, an additional 20 amp here. So that's pretty cool. You probably actually could uh, power back into your home if you desired. And then you've got some storage here, maybe for some adapters or plugs or whatnot here in the bed. If you're a camper, you could probably power your camper and run some AC. Pretty cool to see that. I do like to see that on these EVs. That is very neat. The charging here, just pushing open like a normal fuel door, fuel door would be. And you've got your, your different charging options uh, right there. Being this is an EV, you have a, a frunk, as they call it. So you no engine under here, obviously. So you've got some storage, you've got your jack, your uh, charging cable, a tow point, some nice storage. And then you also have an additional uh, 20 amp outlet up here uh, for another power point. So that's pretty cool to see. You can open this from inside the cab, electronically pulls down and locks, um, as well as from the key fob. So moving into the vehicle, again, this is the work truck. So you've got your, your rubberized floor. It's pretty basic. Here you have your trailer mode, lane keep assist. You can open your trunk, your frunk, I should say, uh, trailer brake assist or trailer brake controller there. Got your screen. So in order to power up the vehicle, you literally just have to have your keys on you and push your foot on the brake and it will activate the vehicle. That seems to be the new theme with Chevy, which is actually pretty cool. I like it. Um, you do have a nice, vibrant display. The graphics are very nice, deep, uh, high quality. Looks like you're watching 4K TV. So that's pretty cool. This display, I think, you know, on the larger or on the higher trim levels, it's going to push out all the way to the edges. Again, this being the work truck, it kind of uh, minimizes some of those features. You know, the one thing we talked about in the Blazer EV is that there is no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Now, the reason that is, you get eight years of connectivity. So, and it's all powered by Google Maps, but the beauty of using the Google system that comes with the truck or with the Blazer EV is, it will tell you where you're gonna charge. It will map out where you're gonna stop, much like the Tesla technology did. So keep in mind, if you just had Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it would tell you how to get from point A to point B, but it wouldn't tell you where you need to stop and charge. Well, some people are thinking that's a major negativity of not having the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. There is a good reason for it. So again, you've got your, uh, what they call a power base. So this is what we talked about in the back. You can share your battery's energy, uh, you know, if you wanted to plug into your, your home or whatever the case may be. Um, again, most of all of your switches and stuff now you auxiliary switches you don't have a lot of actual switches you do for your hvac and the stuff that you're probably going to commonly use without going into the screen so that is nice to see but any of your you know you have auxiliary switches that you can wire in that's all going to be done through this screen and we're going to start to see more and more of this kind of stuff all through the screen and less physical buttons so if you're the button kind of guy you, you know you hold on to that because they're uh, they're going away fairly quickly. This will give you your tire pressure, engine info, uh, tells you your energy usage, uh, you know your one pedal driving. This is where you're going to really navigate through all the different features of the truck. 
So next charge, um, very cool. You can schedule your charge if you, you know, if you're at a place where you get cheaper charging at night, you know, cheaper electric rates at night, you can schedule that. Uh, but this is where you're going to handle uh, all this stuff. Again, we are not logged into it. Uh, we're we're in demo mode, so I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to start activating a bunch of features. But this gives you an idea of what the screen looks like, uh, and it is the quality of the screen is very nice. It's uh, it's it's vivid. I like it. It looks good. So interior wise, I think it's very nice. The buttons are all ergonomically placed. Everything feels good. You've got your, your controls on your steering wheel as you would expect. The seats are comfortable. You do have a nice big um, console here. I suspect that this will be wireless charging on the higher trims. Again, nice center console with some cup holders. This will likely be, uh, on, the on the nicer trims, this is gonna be definitely more furnished uh, with, with the amenities and different appointments. Check out the back seat. So there is some cup holders in here, water bottles, umbrella. If you watch Zach some shooting cars, I wonder if the big freaking bottle will fit in here. Zach, what do you think? All right, so here is the back seat, guys. Climbing in. Now, now I had this front seat back. I was just driving it. Guys, check this out. I'm like lounging back here. I am literally extended my legs. Like I was comfortable driving up here. And I'm beyond comfortable back here. This is crazy amount of legroom back here. Again, I imagine you're going to have HVAC controls and some different things on the higher trim levels. You do get some USB-Cs, uh, but I truly cannot get over the legroom back here. And let me tell you, the seats are actually very comfortable. This is, if this, it looks like leather. Um, if it's not leather, it's, it's a good fake. So not sure if it's a real vinyl again work truck but for a work truck the interior is very comfortable and um yeah i it's it's comfortable and you could easily fit three grown adults in this back seat very easily we're going to take this thing for a drive one thing i want to point out and i think it's really impressive and i think chevrolet did a real nice job you know they came out a little bit after the lightning uh, a lot of bit after the lightning these things are just starting to hit the dealerships now but they claim that the work truck can get 450 miles of range on a charge. Now, I, I understand that's going to definitely change if you're hitching up trailers and whatnot. But 450 mile range on a full charge, very impressive. So let's take it for a ride and see what, uh, let's see what we think. Talked about this in a previous video. Uh, but your shifter now is on your stock, which I actually kind of like. Pull forward and down is drive. Towards you is neutral forward and up is reverse and push it on the end and you've got your park so forward and dive is uh like i said forward and down is drive like the other ev the blazer we drove you can hear it it does have that pedestrian monitoring system we talked about we'll show that what we did on the other ev and we are on one pedal driving so we're going to try that one pedal driving is definitely something that you if you haven't had the experience with a lot of people when they transfer to an EV vehicle, it's something they take some time to get used to. But I will tell you what, once you get used to it and you get into a vehicle without one pedal driving, you don't, you, you almost forget how to, how to stop. Now this one will actually bring you to a stop and hold the vehicle. I have at no point touched the brakes. Now the other thing we talk about, and I've talked about in previous ve uh, vehicle reviews, is the steering wheel that is my thing and this is pretty much the same steering wheel as a couple of the other new chevrolets but i really like the size of it i can wrap my hands around it now this uh, again i can put my hand down here comfortably uh and that's just for whatever reason that's just my thing that drives me crazy road noise is is zero to none i mean you hear tires you hear a little bit of the motor if you will the little you know electric whine um but you really got to be you really got to be listening for it. So again, no brakes, guys. And one pedal driving. So you can you can drive this vehicle without touching that brake pedal, which again, it's something to get used to, but um I like it. So like right now still have not touched the brake pedal. It's holding the vehicle right there. My foot has not moved off that accelerator again what do we call this do we call it a gas pedal i don't even know what we call it anymore 
Uh, and again, it's got the regenerative braking. I think that, you know, the amount of energy you will put back into the battery is absolutely negligible in the grand scheme of things. But no less, you might as well put that energy somewhere, right? So let's put it, let's take that little bit of uh, excess and, and put it back. Guys, this thing drives very nice, very quiet. We're gonna turn around here and we're gonna show you kind of what kind of acceleration you can expect out of uh, out of this EV. It's, it's, it's quite impressive, I'm not gonna lie. And as always, we wanna thank Ray, Chevrolet and Fox Lake for, for letting us take this vehicle and do a quick demo on it for you guys. Uh, Ray is rated number one of the top rated fleet and business elite dealerships in the nation. Uh, when it comes to fleet vehicles, there literally is probably nobody better. And even when it comes to just purchasing a vehicle for your own personal use, uh, Ray Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Ray Chevrolet, they have what they call the Ray's Price Promise, and they don't play any of those games, and you're not going to waste a bunch of time. So if you're looking for an honest family-owned dealership, uh, you can't really find a much better place besides the, the Ray Auto Group in Fox Lake. All right, so having said that here, we're going to pull out and we're going to show you a little bit of uh, what the acceleration that this EV Silverado has. You ready? Guys, it literally pushes you back in your seat. It's super impressive. Guys, that's what it's like driving the all-new 2024 Silverado EV, one pedal driving, awesome, great acceleration, ton of torque, ton of power. Love the power sharing back to the grid or back to your home, or maybe it's to your work site. Uh, maybe it's to your camper. The 450 mile range, huge. There is a lot that sets this Silverado apart from its competitors. And I think once we see the, you know, the RST version with the, the you know, the, the, the back seat that folds down, much like the old Avalanche, right? There's a lot of Avalanche vibe to this with the, the slanted back and that kind of stuff. So when you're done driving the Silverado, all you do is hop out and close the door. Bring the keys with you. So here's your charge door, open it up. Depending on what level charger you're gonna use, you, uh, you may need to take this cap off for the level three charging. Go ahead and take your charger and you're gonna plug it in and that's it. The truck will do the rest, and I'm sure you got a little nice blue glow there. I don't know if you see with the, uh, the lighting outside. And again, I'm sure there's a, an app on your phone. You can monitor uh, the status of everything happening as well. Guys, I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the all-new EV Silverado? Uh, again, thanks to Ray Chevrolet for letting us take this out. And uh, as always, please comment, like, interact with us. It helps the channel and uh, let us know what your thoughts are. What do you drive? Are you interested in electric vehicles? Is hybrid your thing? Or are you staying with ice, internal combustion? Again, thanks again, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.